Here's how you can animate your logo with After Effects in under five minutes, even if you're a complete beginner. Hi, I'm Jeff Sangstack, an Adobe Certified Expert and the lead instructor here at BlueEffects.net. In this quick video, you'll learn how to animate your logo in After Effects so it looks just like this one. There are many ways to animate a logo in After Effects. You can make the logo fly in, pop up, or do some other kind of movement. However, to make those movements look natural, you need to animate things using keyframes or expressions, and then sync everything carefully to the audio, and then add other design elements. And that can take time, a lot of time. The fastest way to animate a logo is by using a template. We prepared this After Effects template specifically to animate logos. Once you've downloaded and unzipped the files, you'll find an After Effects project called Logo 16 AEP. Open that project in After Effects. Okay, now just drag your logo file into the project panel, then click on the You Change folder and double click on the Your Logo Comp. Drag your logo from the project panel down into the timeline and then delete the existing sample logo and we're almost set. If you want to adjust the size of your logo, press the S key to display the scale property. As a quick tip, if your logo is in a vector file format, such as Adobe Illustrator or EPS, click the Continuously Rasterize switch to make it look crisp. You can also add your own tagline. To do this, in the project panel, double-click the Your Tagline comp. In the timeline, double-click on the text layer to select it and then type in your text. You can fine-tune the project even more to make sure it matches your brand and logo colors. Just go to the project panel, double-click on the main composition, and in the timeline, select the color control layer. Now, click on the Effect Controls Panel tab at the top of the interface to reveal the color changing features, and then adjust them to suit your liking. For example, you can change the color of the background, the tagline, and the ribbons. Let's see what we made. To preview your video, drag the current time indicator to the beginning of the timeline and press the space bar. This looks great. I hope you like it also. 